Good morning my darlings. I have started the day by preparing to film a video which has been quite highly requested for quite some time. I'm sure you might be able to guess what it is based on what I was just steaming but um, yeah I want to get back into doing a few more fashion videos even though I don't really have the space or not that I don't have the space I don't have a space to do it in right now so I'm just kind of commandeering this little corner of this room because it has really lovely light in here but hopefully a little bit later on I might be able to give you a sneak peek of the pink room because it is almost done decorating and paint wise and it just looks incredible. So that's what I've been up to this morning. I'm going to head downstairs now and do a few hours of emails down at the outdoor Fashion Mumbler HQ. It just looks so nice out there with the brolly up um, and the cushions and everything. It really is a perfect spot for working outside because I think tragically today might be the last day of this glorious weather. Um, so I'm going to go downstairs and make the most of it. Are you really telling me that that's comfortable, young man? Is that really the position that you choose to get yourself in? Look at these dusty little paws. Dusty. You are absolutely ridiculous. And I love you more than you could ever, ever know, young man. lunch is served. I made the um, coriander, parsley, walnut and cranberry frittata inspired by a recipe in the Waitrose magazine. Not exactly the same, just using what we had um, and it looks rather nice and it recommended to serve with flatbreads so I just went on the cookie do app from the Thermomix and they had a quick flatbread recipe so I've done that as well. Nice to have something a little bit different from the farm eggs that we collected this morning. Charlie is barbecuing some tuna with his instead of the flatbreads to make it a bit healthier and it looks and smells rather scrumptious. Hello my little Pim Pim. Oh, is it too hot for little boys? Too hot for little boys. I have actually been saving up my Amazon parcels for the last week or so to do a big Amazon unboxing with you. This video is very excitingly in partnership with Amazon. They are currently doing a campaign called More Than A Box where they're encouraging everyone to reuse the boxes that they've got in their house and transform them into something a little bit more fun. So I'm going to be showing you what is in my Amazon order and this is just a total, totally random snippet to kind of things that we order and then I'm going to show you some of the crafty projects that you could do with your boxes that you have got in your home. As you will soon see there is quite a random selection of items in here. Since lockdown we've even been buying some of our food and drink from Amazon um, but a lot of things that we've needed around the house, really random things like drain covers, um, pliers, the little tacks for my reupholstery, whatever you need Amazon have got it. 
Okay, so in my first parcel, we have got some of our Nespresso capsules. You would not believe how many of these Charlie and I get through. And we have been buying capsules in Waitrose as well, but you really just cannot beat the Master Origins collection from Nespresso. These are the Indonesia capsules. So I have got five boxes of those. And then in the same delivery is also my lavender essential oil so when i was watching a home hacks video the other day it was recommending that you make your own fabric softener and this is really especially good for your towels because traditional fabric conditioner or fabric softener can leave them kind of coated so it was saying that a really good idea is to make your own with white vinegar so i'm hoping that one of these other boxes will be white vinegar but then to make it smell lovely with an organic um 100 pure essential oil so i ordered this lavender one from Amazon so that's another little DIY hack that I'll be doing later on oh yes okay so this is my quinola and it's basically quinoa granola and I like to sprinkle this on top of my smoothies in the morning you can buy this directly from the retailers website but I think there was a minimum order value when it came to the free postage and packaging so I just added it to my Amazon basket Something else that I have become rather addicted to is the Oatly Barista Milk and I have to say this is one thing that would frequently get, um, what's the word? put in as a replacement on online shopping orders but the Oatly Barista Milk is the absolute best when it comes to making an oat milk latte so I ordered a box of two for six from Amazon this box here is too heavy for me to pick up but inside I have ordered loads of the Fentiman's um, Rose Lemonade I have been drinking these in the week as a bit of a bit of a treat obviously they're non-alcoholic it's just the most delicious and refreshing drink for summer um, and they are quite expensive in supermarkets but it was much more affordable to buy them in semi-bulk I think I've got um, three six nine twelve bottles here lastly you could actually use these as your weights in the gym, use them as like kettlebells. But this is the pure white vinegar, which I'm gonna be um, making my own DIY fabric softener with. This is spirit vinegar, I hope this is the right thing. Um, and I got two of these five litre tubs. So, as you probably know, if you've watched a lot of my recent vlogs, Charlie and I have a bit of an obsession with reusing things and repurposing things even yesterday when we were sent a crate of flowers we were even thinking of ways we could reuse the bucket that they came with and even the cellophane and i actually hate when flowers come in cellophane because it is um a bit of unnecessary plastic in my opinion but we're using that cellophane as dust sheets when we're painting our outdoor chairs so we um i don't know if thrifty is the white word but yeah we like to repurpose things where possible and all of this cardboard just sets my imagination running but because we've been spending so much time in the garden lately I think what we're going to do as our first craft project is make a little birdhouse and actually these boxes are perfect because the cardboard is quite stiff and quite thick so what I'm going to do is download some templates and cut out some shapes from the cardboard. These are the bits that I'm going to need in order to make the little birdhouses and obviously cardboard birdhouses would not last too long outside given the weather. So these are more cute little gift boxes. Um, you can fill them with whatever you fancy. You could put a little pair of earrings in there or some sweets, whatever takes your fancy. And I have been online and I've found some templates, so I've printed those out. I've got some scissors, some fabric, I'm going to go and get some paint as well. Obviously you don't need to use fabric and paint if you don't want to. I've got some ribbons, I always tend to hold on to ribbons, whether that's from a carrier bag or, you know, whatever that might be, and they are all in there. And then I have got some glue, a pen and a pencil. So the first thing I'm going to do is to sketch this onto my cardboard.
So as you just saw, I used a spray-on glue to spray the um, pattern onto the cardboard box, then cut it out, use some scissors to score the fold lines, and then just practiced folding the box together to make sure it all fit. And then what I've done is using another Amazon box as my um, dust sheet, I have used a paint sample to paint the box pink. So while that dries, I'm going to unbox this. I actually only found out last week that you can buy plants on Amazon and I've realised I have a bit of a problem with buying roses. I just cannot resist a beautiful rose. So this um, rose is from Amazon, so I thought I'd open it up and give it a good drink of water. I think this may just be one of the best things that you can buy on Amazon. So this is a David Austin um, English Climbing Rose. As you can see, there's no flowers on here at the moment because they come before they flower, just so that you get the full experience, which is fantastic. I've got a little bit of information here that came with it. Roses grow well in most soils, but prefer a neutral to slightly acid or slightly alkaline soil. Add a handful of garden lime when planting in clay or acidic soils. We definitely have clay soil, so I'll need to do that. It says when you're digging your hole, to water the hole if it's dry and leave for a few hours to settle before planting. So that can be my afternoon activity. I believe I've also ordered an organic rose feed on Amazon. That one hasn't arrived yet, um, but I will keep you posted on that. <laughs> Charlie's just received an Amazon order of his own. What have you got, darling? I ordered this watering can. Thought it was quite nice. Very nice. Um, well, both of them are water related because this crazy hot weather that we should be grateful for is uh, killing our garden. Yeah, it so is. This, this brand I came across, this is where I want to get the hose. For the, You know, we talked about getting like a proper industrial sort of hose for yeah. this part of the garden. It's called Gardena. They're sold out of all the hoses, but these are like crazy good sprinklers for lawns. Wowza. Um, I've seen them online. Weirdly getting excited about a sprinkler. I've got an obsession with buying rose bushes and you've got an obsession with buying watering cans. Well, to keep all of your rose bushes alive. <laughs> it's all <laughs> yeah. connected. Touche. I've yeah. just realised that the bird box that I'm making is a mini version of our duck house. So cute. So let me um, fill you in with where we're currently at. I'm just waiting for the glue to dry. We've got our little box and then I have attached all the bits together on the striped fabric for the lid or the uh, roof I should say. When the fabric has dried I'm going to cut out the scalloped edges and then we are pretty much there. I'm going to leave the exact YouTube video and blog post down below where I got the template and that had the mini tutorial because as you can see crafting is not my absolute finest skill but I'm very happy with my first attempt. I've just gone round again with a little bit more paint on a few of the inside details just to make it a little bit neater. Annoyingly some of the glue has come out um, through the fabric but I'm hoping that's still going to dry but I think this looks absolutely adorable and all from a few materials I had lying around the house starting off with the Amazon box. It is definitely more than a box now so that's my cute little birdhouse if you don't glue the um lid down then you could use it as a box as i mentioned earlier for gift giving i've glued mine down just to help support the structure a little bit and once we have a few days without any rain then i can leave this out in the garden and see if any little birds would like to come and nest in here so i'm going to leave this to dry now and my next little craft project charlie's busy doing his own not so much a craft project but a garden project 
What, what are you actually using, darling? Danish teak oil. Yeah, I'm not sure what wood these chairs are, um, but they just looked a bit too light, and I think they need protecting. I mean, obviously, we're not going to leave these out. No. Like we would leave a wooden table out. But, I mean, you can see the difference in colour. Yeah. It brings out the grain in the wood as well. They definitely look much better. They look much, much better. And a bit more aged, in a way. They look more expensive. <laughs> I think so. It instantly adds value. Yeah. I'm um, doing a good but job. But obviously, it's going to make it last longer. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, inevitably, they might get a bit wet if it drizzled one day. Yeah. Uh, sim similarly, I think it protects it from the sun once it's dry. And I see you're using your Amazon box <laughs> as a little yeah. um, dust sheet. Well done, Dying. this. What was this from? This was from a salad or something. I always yeah. think keep these mm. um, for painting. They're brilliant. Yep. We are all about reusing as much as we can. these blooms look these are from yesterday's delivery with molten brown the floral workshop has been moved to tomorrow and the blooming wildflowers just honestly this is the most stunning bouquet the colors in here are beyond spectacular oh my goodness and charlie has got the bits and bobs out ready for dinner i think we're going to have an early dinner this evening is i that might do you know what? I'm not entirely sure. That's one downside of using these jars. One of these is pearl barley and one of these is bulgur wheat, I reckon. I think that one is pearl barley and that one is bulgur wheat. See, I think it might be oh. But either way, I don't think it really matters. Like, they both no, have the same kind of cooking instructions, don't they? No, I think one of them is a lot longer. I've had to remove this little chap from the sun quite a few times. Quite a few times. He has his heart set on sunbathing, don't you, young man? But I've told him he doesn't need to get a tan because he's a doggy. And I've told you, Mummy, I do what the hell I want in this house. Don't be so rude to your mother. Your mother is only looking after your own well being. I wonder if these dogs know how mad we are. Uh, if you're going to sunbathe, you sunbathe in the shade, young man. It's too hot for little hairy boys. Much too hot. As you just saw, I used the paint, which yes, I got from Amazon, uh, on the chair, which I have been DIYing, and it's a much golder, golder gold, much darker gold now, which is much better. I think I will probably do a second coat tomorrow, so I may transfer these chairs to the open garage under the coach house because I think it is going to be raining for the next few days, which is a shame, but I want to be able to continue doing my chairs, so I think I will ask for Charlie's help to move them all to the coach house. I'm going to grab my phone to listen to a podcast and head down the bottom of the garden now to plant my lovely new Amazon rose. This is where I'm thinking of planting the beautiful David Austin rose. This little flower bed here has peonies, um, goldenrod, more peonies, and other roses. So I think that would be a really good spot for it. This bottom area of the garden is just looking so lovely. Oh my goodness. Looks like I forgot to prune this bush yesterday. Water plonker. And let me show you an update down here because these florals are looking incredible. Ooh, we have a new purple rose coming and this one is just I don't actually think I've ever seen a rose that big before. Look at it compared to my phone and I've got the biggest iPhone out there. That is beyond incredible. So lovely. And I swear, even since last night, the wildflower garden has shot up. It is looking so, so long. You can't even see it on camera, but it is incredibly long now. Saving us a fortune on lawn mowing bills, but also just looks absolutely divine. Really, really lovely. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cup my tea I 
can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy Oh, it's actually been a couple of hours since I last picked up the vlogging camera, but I'm now going to continue with a few of my um, DIYs today. So the next thing on my list to do is my, oh sorry Dexy, my DIY fabric softener. So like I was saying earlier, normal fabric softener can leave your towels a little bit hard and crispy, and that can be from the buildup of product. So I saved um, a bottle from my last Kin Beauty fabric softener. Um, it's got a lot of sticky on it though from the label, so I'm gonna try a hack, which is where you spray hairspray on this stickiness, and it's meant to just peel off. So let's give it a go. Oh my gosh. That is magic. <laughs> so that's really weird. When I was actually spraying, it took the sticky off, but now that the spray has dried, it's still sticky. So all I'm gonna do is mix some of the vinegar with, where is it? Where's my bottle gone? It's in my pocket. <laughs> with some of the lavender essential oil. That is very effective. And it's as easy as that. So apparently you just put half a cup in with your um, washing as your fabric softener. And apparently it makes your towels super fluffy, so stay tuned. I think I'm going to put some towels on tomorrow to see if this works. And dinner is served. Charlie has cooked tabbouleh, 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 with roasted cauliflower and a little bit of lamb. I think uh, Charlie has got lamb, asparagus and tabbouleh, tabbouleh, tabbouleh. <laughs> I don't know why I struggle so much with that word, but it looks delicious. We're ending the day with another golden hour photo shoot. This is the Molten Brown scent that we were sent <laughs> scent that we were sent yesterday as part of the floral workshop that's going on tomorrow. And I thought why not put all the lovely blooms in our garden trough. It's called a trug, isn't it? Trug. And Charlie has been in the long grass getting the most gorgeous photos. Do you know what would be really cute if I lay down and we get like buttercups? Let's do it. Let's give it a go. Let's yeah, find a really good buttercup pack. Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am Time for a puppy photo shoot Wait for I think Dexy's been rolling in fox poo actually be together, take me back I can really I smell be. poo If you see this photo on the grid just know that I'm probably lying in either dog Rabbit or fox poo right now. <laughs> oh dear. Yep. Actually, I think Dex has been rolling in it, but either way, it's delightful. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. You are so lovely, my little Dickens. You are such a lovely little boy. So actually the reason why I got the truck out of the garden shed to begin with was because it is due to rain for the next few days so I thought I would come down and pick some flowers from the garden so even though we're not going to be able to walk around the garden so much I can still enjoy the produce of our garden from the inside. So I've got my secateurs and I'm going to do some snipping. Pairing with the lagged horse When I return from my spinning ball I'm remembering the words you told me Wait, hold on We'll be together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone this is my final collection. I went round to the front of the house and picked up some of these roses. I think they might be David Austin roses actually. They are so stunning. So we'll get to enjoy these inside over the next few days. Got these lovely little purple numbers, some white peonies, the spectacular allium, and of course my favorite 
purple rose could not resist bringing this into the house. It probably needs a few of the petals trimming, but it does look absolutely gorgeous. Big white peonies. How lovely. I think I'm going to make this a habit because why not enjoy them inside as well? Well, I am very pleased indeed with this. The flowers from the garden have made up four different posies. I just need to add some water into these. So we've got peony and lovely purple flowers, single peonies, single roses. I think they look so lovely and they're all together. What a gorgeous colour. And then this mixed posy here as well with the allium, peonies um, and whatever that purple flower is. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, the big purple rose didn't make it. It really was on the end, but I am going to press these petals so that they can live on. Okay, darlings, it has been a fun day. Lots of DIYs and crafts and unboxings. I now need to give my smelly little boy a wash. <laughs> It's as though he can understand me because he's definitely been rolling in something so I'm gonna give him a bath um, Put my flowers around the kitchen and I will see you tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye <laughs>